What's happening, y'all? Welcome back. Today, we're gonna do an antelope. And I've already done an antelope on a previous video, but I figured I'd give you a little bit better look. So I'm gonna uh, get to cracking on it. Just get everything I can off, just like always. Pull them eyes. See what I did there? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I see. Oh, that's clever. All right, eyes. Get this jaw off there. Start making a little heat. Ah. I may be on my own with it, but man. I love the smell of an antelope. I think it just kind of takes me back to, uh, to hunting them, maybe. Very, very, very unique, unique smell. I think antelope should be Estee Lauder's new fragrance. Is Estee Lauder still around? That or Hops number nine. Those are two good smells right there. Come on, right? Mover. Okay, y'all, you know the drill. Once you've skinned that animal, whatever it is, you've removed any loose tissue, put it down in a pot, and bring it to a boil. When you're boiling horned animals, never use any chemical or product until you've removed the horn. On an antelope, I just stick it between my legs and I give a good twist. The twist is the key. If you're putting enough pressure on there and you feel it give, you're good. If not, boil a little longer until they pop right off. Should be very little pressure. Then go ahead and wash with clear water that horn in and out and put your skull back in the pot and add a little OxyClean. Keep checking that skull at a simmer, and once you can start to see bone anywhere, when that skin has split anywhere on the head of that animal, pull it out and start your power washing. The power washer I'm using is made by Greenworks. It's a 1600 PSI, 110 volt unit. I get it at Lowe's for 99 bucks. You gotta wash every hole and every orifice anywhere there's tissue or debris wash it clean once i've washed and got up around the horn core i like to take a knife and make a cut and get in there with your fingers and peel it it'll save you a lot of washing time and i will tell you for sure a pair of gloves will help because it is super hot against that horn core let's do a little washing I love a good tip and I always appreciate the advice from anybody at any level. I do not think I'm the authority because I put up so many videos online. I'm just trying to share my experiences, some that I learned on my own, some that I learned from others. That being said, I had a good friend say, cut that horn core and drill that core with a wafer bit. It'll pull a bunch of junk out and eliminate the stink. Now I've done 80 plus antelope and never had an issue. So I did it to say I've done it. And for me, I didn't see the benefits. However, 
he comes from a very wet environment and he said that it fast tracks the drying process inside that horn core and is the answer for him eliminating smell. Take it for what it's worth. I always appreciate that good tip. I've been getting lots of questions about the brain and the nasal cavity. First and foremost, the brain is the number one thing to stink, so I always remove it. Everything, in every case. The nasal cavity, I prefer it gone. I like the look of it gone. Some don't. However, I think the easiest way to clean it is to remove everything. These animals are going in people's homes and I'm not willing to take the risk of sending them something that may have an area for potential growth. Just my two cents. I like to remove them. Once your skull is clean and rid of any meat or tissue, we're going to reboil that skull for about five minutes in a mixture of 40% by volume liquid peroxide and water, a 50 50 ratio. Bring it to a boil, five minutes, shut it down, and pull it out and rinse it clean. Once the horns have dried, I coat them in flooring mop and glow inside and outside one smooth even coat of mop and glow to seal that horn and give it a nice clean sheen within 24 hours the skull and the horns are good and dry and i adhere the horns back onto the core using automotive bondo All right, so just to recap, that is how you do a pronghorn antelope. Very similar to any horned animal. Here's just a quick film of me boxing it up. Just make sure you're protecting that nose and making sure horn points don't shoot through the box. I very rarely have to ship, but it's pretty easy. Thank you again for always watching. I love you and God bless. Ha <laughs> <laughs>